Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got another bit of fun for you today. In our last video, we showed you some creative ideas for your divider modules with Divi. Today, we're gonna to take it one step further by adding animations to them. We've got one here. It's gonna give it a sort of background glow and that's gonna continuously do that. That's gonna get a bit of attention. Next one we've got here is an expanding dotted module and it's sort of going to full width and going to three, then going to five and staying on five for quite a long time, then going back to three. We've kind of stuttered it so it's not just pulsating in a linear manner like our one over there. And our last one over here, as you can see, it's flipping 720 degrees every three or four seconds then it's pausing and then it's repeating it any animations that we applied to them yesterday with the hovers and things will still apply but we're going to animate them also bit of coding involved in this today but don't let that worry you as usual i've got everything pre-written for you and all you need to do is copy and paste so let's enable my visual builder and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, once enabled, I'm gonna go down. I've got my code pre-written in a little code module on the page. You can either do it this way, or you can go to your theme customizer and add it there, which is what I'd recommend so it, it stays on all of your animations here. And I've got mine in some style tags because it's in a code module. I'll show you how to put all this in your custom CSS panel at the end of the video here. But let's just walk you through a few of these. Our first animation, I've got it called DCSS is the class name. I've called it glow and it's gonna glow and take three seconds to complete the cycle below here. So at second one, when the page loads, we've got this one, the box shadow of a red color 50% it's changing to white, and then it's going back to red again at 100% over a three second period. So of course, just take these colors for anything you might want to change it. This will work good on a, on a dark background, but if you've got a light background, you'll want to change these colors to something that works for you. Simply put in your new hex colors or any web colors you want there and change it. If you want it to take less time or more time, change the three seconds up here. If I change it to two seconds, as you can see, it starts pulsing more quickly. I'm happy with the three. Now, how do you apply it? Well, we used a simple line module last time. I'll just do one for you and then show you how to apply the others. Let's go down here and I'll delete this little module that we've got going on here. And we'll add a new module. I'm going to use a divider, but actually you can apply this to any module you want that it works with. And I'll show you how to do that later on too. And for ours, we wanted to show the divider. We're showing it right there. Design wise, I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to make it slightly deeper. It's a line and I want to make it white in color. So it stands out a little bit more. Position's fine. Solid line is fine also. So to make this happen to our little module here today, we just need to give it that class name. And the class name was DCSS. And I'll go over that when we go back in there. And as you can see, it's applied that glow. But our little module here has got more height than I want. I really only want it on that line there. So I'm gonna go back in to my design here, I'm gonna go down to sizing. I'm gonna make my line about two pixels, but height, I'm gonna give it say five pixels and we'll take see what happens there. That's a bit more like it. The glow's actually on it. We can take it down till it's fully on it if you want to. Yeah, I think that was about right. And also, in our line, I'm going to make sure it's in the center. At the moment, it's in the top. 
I'm just going to vertically center it so that glows more around it. And the only difference is that one up there, I think, width wise, was 50%. and aligned in the middle. So that's how you apply it. Let's take a look at the second one. Now our second one is just expanding our little divider module. So it's going to show five dots or two dots. I'm not going to recreate the module. But I will go in and show you how to add a class. If I bring up my little code module again, we applied the class of DCSS to this one to apply it to that one. Always get the letters without the dot. You don't need the dot, just get the DCSS. Moving on to our second one, it's DCSS2. And what it does it's an animation which I called S width, five seconds. And again, it's infinite. It's going to keep going and going. It's going to start off at the page load or 0% of our five seconds at 50% width. 25% is going to go down to 25% width. That's why it's three dots there. 35% is going to go back to 50%, which will be the five dots. And it's going to hold it from the 35% to the 100% of our five seconds at 50% or the five dots. That's why there's a little stagger before it goes back to the three. And you can change that timing by upping or downing the percentage wise if you want it to hold longer or less. Or if you just want to make it linear, delete one of these and do 0, 50 and 100%, 50, 25 and 50. And again, to apply it, we just need the class name which is DCSS2 here without the dot. Let's just copy that. And if I now apply it to our little module down here, if I roll down a little bit, and it's always at advanced custom CSS IDs and classes, make sure you put it in the class name, not the CSS ID. And as you can see, that one started to animate for us. Great. Well, last and not least, we got our little flip effect up here. It's flipping that little module around. Get my little code module back up. Roll on down. And this is DCSS3. And it's taking seven seconds. And again, it's continuing to do it. When the page loads, it's not rotating at all at 25% of our seven seconds. It's flipping it twice to 720 degrees. 50% is flipping it back to zero. And then it's holding again from 50% to 100% at zero. And then it starts the cycle again after seven seconds. If you want to up and down the timing, again, if you want to make it longer, up the second value up there. If you want to change the amount it rotates, let's double that. Let's say 1440. You can put in another value right there. That's flipping around an extra two times there. I'm happy with the way it was. Let's put that back to 720. And like I say, all this code's down below the video here. You're welcome to copy, paste it, use it how you wish. And I'll show you how to put it in your additional CSS panel in a moment. So let's apply this one to this one. Here's the class name. Remember to take it without the dot. Control C to copy. We'll go into the module that we want to apply it to. Over to advanced custom CSS IDs and classes. Class name, remember, non ID. And as you can see, it started that one animating. And they're really going to be eye catching things to have on your website. It's going to get people's attention pretty quickly. But once you've got this CSS, you can apply it to anything you want. If we roll down below, you may have caught this just now when I had a, a bit of it showing. You can actually apply it to sections, rows, modules. Here is it applied to an icon module. And it's got that background glow there. That's applied to an image right there. 
that's our second animation there and CSS3 is applied to this icon here and as you can see it's making it flip but you can apply it to a row let's go into this row and again always whether it's a row section or module over to the advanced is where you'll find CSS IDs and classes if I give this DCSS it should give it a glowing border And there we go, our row's got the glowing border. You can do it to a section if you want to. Some of these things, obviously, you're not going to want to apply to some things. Let's go in here, let's give it to our section. CSS IDs and classes, DCSS. As you can see, our section's now got a glowing border. A little bit too much glowing going on. But uh, like I say, you can apply it to anything. Probably wouldn't apply the second one to a row, but perhaps the third one. We'll try the second one. It'll shrink it down, but I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. So if we go back into the row, CSS ID in classes, make this CSS2. Yeah, it's shrinking that row down. Doing that, not sure I like that. But you could make it DCSS3, and it'll just flip it every few seconds perhaps take the timing up on that to have it pause for longer but there's quite a lot going on there but anyway guys that's just a few ideas for you I'm going to take this away I'm also going to take that border away from there okay let's make sure everything's going to work on the front end Save the page changes. Exit the visual builder. Great. And everything seems to be working perfectly for us. Right, I'll show you where to put the code uh, in your additional CSS panel. For anybody that doesn't know, go down to your dashboard. Once at the dashboard, go down to appearance and customize. That'll take you to this page here. Go down to the bottom to the additional CSS panel. And this is where you can add your code. And I'll just get it from the other page and add it here for you. So we'll go back to our original page, enable the Visual Builder. Go down to my code module. I happen to know it's under this line here, but code modules don't take up any real estate. So if you lose it and can't find where your code module is, you can flip to back end mode by hitting the little purple button at the bottom over to the left hand side we've got an icon called wireframe view if you hit it it'll take you to the back end sort of wireframe mode and you can see things like that there's our little code module once you've got where you want to go you can flip back okay well let's grab all of this code And this is all that will be down below the video here. Control C to copy. I'm good there. Now we can go back to our customizer at the top here. Always a good idea to give things a title. So I'll give that the title which is forward slash star star forward slash. In between you can write your titles. It won't be read as code. So let's say divider animations. And down below that, I'm going to paste in that code I just copied. And here it is right here. Looks like I missed a little bit. Let's go back to our page, back into that code module. And it looks like I missed that right there. So make sure you get all of the code when you copy it. Control C. Let's go back here and put that on the top there. That's why we're getting a little flag there. There we go. And I'll just tidy that up. Great, once you've got it in there, hit your publish. And you're good to go. And you can apply any of these class names to, like I say, any mod module section or even row if you really want to. That's entirely up to you. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Let's have, add some little animations 
to your divi dividers or anything else you want to add them to don't forget if you've got any questions pop them below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day